that's like two big bucks. I'm gonna do it God, look at this beauty! <laughs> the beast! <laughs> That's a 15 inch, right? That's a six and a half. That's 15. Boom, look at the magnet size. It's gonna be a lot of bass, my brothers. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Mike is back with another crazy experiment. So today we have a Dayton Audio subwoofer, the 15 inch subwoofer. Why I have this guy, why I ordered this, because I'm building my high-end uh, speakers myself, because I was in the market to spend around to 10, around to five to $10,000 to my house to listen to a you know, nice sound system. And I couldn't find any good speakers, like overpriced, it, over, over advertised all the crap. So I made it tons of tons of research. I, I test so many uh, subwoofers, 15 subwoofers. Uh, first thing it was on my mind, uh, use um, car audio subwoofers, but is the car audio subwoofers uh, sensitivity is not so great. And they have just a SPL on uh, the woofers. They're gonna move tons of power, but on the lower, lower, lower volume, when you're listening at the home, nice and quiet, it's not gonna produce nice smooth bass. Uh, that's what I come to cross to date not really a lot of guys is in the forum everybody's love this uh, subwoofer for the price the regular price $250 I was lucky I spent the $200 so $50 I change save on the the two two subwoofers $100 I save on the two subwoofers so there uh, we go it's heavy man um, I just made um, 15 inch uh, drivers from Lavaccio uh, from Italian company the mid woofer so check my other videos, the previous video, so you're gonna see what I'm building and how does those speakers uh, compare with this. And I'm gonna, next video, it's gonna be comparison with this guy, right? So this is a Dayton Audio woofer. This is a plastic cone. And at the house, it's one that stays nice and beautiful. You see the huge chunk, um, the rubber, but it's, I'm gonna run it a lot to smooth it out. So I can hear when I'm running my amplifier, 5% of the power, I can still, listen it a nice smooth uh bass so this part like glass but it's very hard plastic i believe but it sounds like a glass and all the around areas you see that as how they put the glue is in top notch like you're not gonna see the one side this glue is taken another side it's it's build quality is really really good like a high-end high, high ex expensive subwoofers i compare with the different car other subwoofers around 250 dollars and so on and I, I didn't find anything good and the, the 50 70 reviews everybody put the five star and they say sensitivity is great everything's good so you have a huge porthole here for cooling the the cones and two 2.5 uh, inch cone and you have a front side you have also ventilation to cool out the cone and this guy is a monster uh, the previous lavachi it was a 500 watt rms 1000 watt peak power this guy is uh, 800 watt RMS and uh, the 1600 watt peak power, right? Um, as you can see, it has a build quality. Those uh, terminals is really stiff, and it made the it made like a tank. You see, um, the wires is stitched to the cone, and yeah, we're gonna run. It's like a double stack uh, ferrite magnet here, and this guy is huge, man. Uh, this is my. Um, Galaxy S9 Plus, and look at the look at the size, right? This is monster. So let's connect to power and let's move some around. Like, oh god! <laughs> but you need the big muscle to move this uh, guy out. So I have a full range power here, and I have subwoofer power here. So let's let's shake. Let's shake the house. But when you install this this guy in the box, it's, it's gonna be like crazy power. <laughs> the 
You see that how nice and quiet this no mechanical noises moving no farting noise no air crazy noise watch just a pure bass and look at this movement look at this how much air it's moving and look at this <laughs> Look at the difference. So, so quiet and moving a lot of air. Like you hear the pure bass. Let's give some juice. And voila. All you can hear air and nice clean bass. That's it. I can see cones around there. And as the music is playing. So I'm gonna connect the full range. That, that's crazy. You're never gonna run these uh, subwoofers on the full range. But I'm gonna connect the full range and we'll see how subwoofer will perform in the full range uh, sound. That's a nice music. The, a lot of bass. Here we go. <laughs> if you put that kind of bass in the box, uh, that, that's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of movement yeah definitely I put the <laughs> uh, yeah definitely I put uh, some slow motions on, on the video clip so you guys can see it because the 30 frame per second those movements is, it's not gonna catch a lot so it's gonna be just you know this is a of moving I put the slow motion so you guys gonna see and enjoy it how is the sound quality yeah this is my pick and i'm gonna show you it's like always if I, if I choose something i always compare with the same price of different guys uh, the guys um, from uh, north carolina uh, the dealers they they selling all that stuff also available on the part express when i went to warehouse the warehouse it was a mess so they, they say just don't um, uh, don't make the videos right but thank you very much for alex uh, to let me choose between the, those old 15 subwoofers to connect them, the, open the box, and connect them, and all the all the all the, all the crazy stuff, right? I did there. So I choose um, the 15 subwoofer. This guy. Uh, I was looking Timpan Audio. I was looking American based subwoofers, and those guys. When you put the little little power, of course, the, for the car audio, the, for the big power to move in the cars, those subwoofers is good. But um, when you put the you know tiny tiny power like you know, 50 watts, you're not gonna see, you're not gonna hear those uh, subwoofers like these guys. Okay, let me put the, my amplifier down around 10%, and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So I was running like from. You see that little little power, but it's still like movement is a lot from the subwoofer. It means uh, as soon as you stick in the box. Uh, this guy is going to be producing like the really really good nice smooth deep bass all right this is my review of the Dayton audio guys um, if you're new to my channel definitely subscribe it i'm going to compare this subwoofer for 15 inch with the 15 inch a uh, lot this guy is a lot lighter uh, 15 inch woofer right this is a pro audio woofer and 
I did the previous video, as I say, why I chose this guy, uh, comparing with the 18 sound BNC and the um, Eminence. Uh, a lot of guys, as high end guys, is using Eminence drivers now. Uh, I know exactly what drivers I went to today to buy that Eminence, but when I compare these two guys, this guy is like overkiller with the you know mechanical noise because these guys I'm running the open baffle. Right, subscribe to my channel. I run the different experiment. Thank you for watching.